Crowds of Law here. Here I am at their Via train station. And uh, tragedy hit here about four years ago. And it's not good. I mean, it's, uh, it's in this area that Michel Viano was shot dead by the Batters police force. An innocent person, out of the blue, cop shows up, Michel Viano, gone. What happened? That's the question. I got a rookie holding the camera here. It's all right. What happened? See, a tragedy like this, New Brunswick is such a small province and the media is so, so small that this is big news, big huge news for about 40, 48 hours. And that's it. If we had some investigating reporters, journalists that digs and digs and digs for answers, maybe this issue here could be settled, but maybe what we need is to get the attention from the national media across Canada to get some answers on why Michel Viano was shot dead by two members of the Bathurst police force. I better wash myself because they might, they might come. I might be the next one shot. Oh, the Fredericton police force be there. Charlie, focus. Okay, so what happened? This is the Via Rail train station. Michel Viano, he loves sport. He went to watch a hockey game, the les Canadiens, les habitants. And him and a female friend got out of the train station. Got out of the train right here. And Michel Viano was a smart guy. He was a businessman. And he knew that Via Rail is not gonna be here forever. So he took his camera, boom, 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 took some pictures of the train. And then he started walking this way. He went to his car. His car was full of snow. Cleaned the snow off his car, hop in his car. And then next thing you know, he, he back up. A ghost car went right in front of him. This happened right there. And then of course, him, Carlis Tabernak, what's going on here? Now look, this is one little street. Right there, and over there. That's the only way to escape is one street. So the cops had him surrounded, and this is not uh, this is not the normal uh, uh, New Brunswick like it was uh, 50 years ago. You know, your community police asking, "Hey, excuse me, sir, you seem to be lost. Can we help you?" No, this is people that showed up, no uniform. They could have had a helicopter on top or whatever. If Michel Viano was one was one of the most uh, ten wanted men in Canada. That's how you do it. But from the train to the car, they never stopped. They never said, "Excuse me, Michel, you're under arrest." Oh, I forgot the most important part. The reason they went after him, somebody called Crime Stoppers. Crime Stoppers. Michel Viano have some cocaine on him. Really? Voila, they show up because he has some cocaine under arrest, and at the end, guess what? They shot him dead in cold blood. No cocaine found. The Nouveau School, the, the uh, commission, some police from Nouveau School show investigated. Michel Viano wasn't involved in drugs whatsoever. Suddenly, the trial of the century, two cops shooting an innocent person. We're going to go on trial. A judge says there's not enough evidence to proceed to trial. So therefore, no trial. No trial, no nothing. Absolutely nothing. So then they said the infamous coroner inquest. We're going to have a coroner inquest. Four years ago, Michel Viano was shot. No coroner inquest. Where, of course, a coroner inquest is only recommendation to recommend that this will not happen again. 
So La Femme, the, the Michel Vionneau's family, are they going to get closure? I can't see it because four years ago, and where are the journalists? How come the journalists do not ask tough questions of what happened to Michel Vionneau that he went to see Les Habitants, the Montreal Canadiens hockey, just walked from the train station, innocent person shot in cold blood, and still no coroner inquest. So, are we going to have a coroner inquest? Are we going to get some answers of what happened to Michel Vianneau? The way I see it, I don't think so.